some big changes on the horizon for the Tulsa County Jail. Today, the Board of Adjustment gave the green light to expand the facility. Two Works for You reporter Nathan Edwards breaks down a very important component in the new addition. Karen, Tulsa County is building a whole new wing to house another 180 inmates. It will also accommodate inmates battling legal and mental health problems, a growing concern for the county. The stress of going to jail takes a toll on your mind and body. Kimberly Cummings remembers her experience like it was yesterday. It was a very confusing process uh, when I first got booked into the jail. Confusing because Kimberly was dealing with mental illness. Addicted to meth when she was booked, she needed help. However, when she arrived, she felt the staff couldn't meet her needs. It wasn't necessarily at the fault of the jail or anything. We ourselves didn't necessarily know that we needed it, and they weren't trained to recognize it. The county is adding a 48-bed mental health pod to the jail to address that need, with money approved by voters last April. There's no magic about the pod itself. The county teamed up with the Mental Health Association to develop new services for inmates with mental health issues. They'll also increase staff training and help inmates find treatment when they leave. So when they are released, they're not just released and turned out the door and say, see you later, I hope you don't come back. The goal is to help these inmates move back into society, just like Kimberly, who recovered and is paying it forward, helping others like her get their lives back on track. It will give them knowledge and they can start to say, I am not like this by choice. I have a disease or I have an issue with the way that my mind works. Let me get some help for that. Tulsa County plans to break ground on the new addition in the coming months. In the 2 News Studio, I'm Nathan Edwards.